three breakthroughs in breast cancer treatment. 30 minutes of it as opposed to having to come back and forth for 30 days. Find out what they are and why every woman should know about them. And up next, three breast cancer breakthroughs that could save your life. Coming up next, the very latest breast cancer breakthroughs. There are two procedures that are changing the way that we treat cancer growth. Find out what is shortening treatments from 30 days down to 30 minutes. My mission as a breast cancer surgeon is to find kinder, gentler treatments that are effective at treating breast cancer. There are two procedures that are changing the way that we treat cancer growth. The first is intraoperative radiotherapy, which is a way of delivering radiation therapy during surgery. We can give the treatment in 30 minutes instead of 30 days. And so the tumor comes out in one piece with the rim of normal tissue around it. This is a tumor coming out. The tumor is surrounded by fat, so what you see is fat and breast tissue surrounding the breast tumor. The next thing that we're doing is selecting the applicator that best fits the surgical cavity. This device is used to shape the breast tissue around the radiation source. So now the interbeam is positioned within the center of the lumpectomy cavity to ensure that radiation delivery is equal in all directions around the cavity. We've just concluded the procedure. 20 minutes instead of 30 days. The next procedure is frost, or tumor cryoablation. So we'll demonstrate how the freezing process works by first inserting the end of the cryoprobe into saline. So that's the ice ball that forms around the cryoprobe. That's the ice ball that also forms within the breast to kill the cancer. So now you see the cryoprobe entering the tumor, passing through the tumor. Now the cryoprobe is in position, and we're about to begin the cryoablation procedure. What happens as the tumor freezes, and as the tissue freezes, is that it becomes less visible to see. The image turns to a dark hole. After the second thaw, the procedure is completed. As far as the frost treatment, using cryo surgery to freeze tumors, something we've used in other areas, but now you, can, you saw the doctors using it in the case of breast cancer, which is a huge innovation. It's all about you know, preserving as much normal tissue as, as you can. In the cryotherapy, though, it, j just for women to know at home, this is more so for the small, isolated little tumors. This isn't going to be for ev everyone. So I want you to know that these technologies are available, and they are increasingly available, but it may not be for everybody. Exactly. And, and as a breast reconstructive surgeon, I'm particularly excited about the intraoperative radiation therapy because, as you know, going through the radiation after your lumpectomy or simple mastectomy or radical mastectomy is as bad or worse than the surgery itself. So being able to administer it directly to the breast site in surgery alleviates the problems of the radiation, the effect on the skin. It causes severe scarring, fibrosis, changes in the blood supply, makes it much more difficult to examine the breast to reconstruct the breast after radiation. So again, this is another huge advance and, and, that's... And it's huge to be able to be underneath while you get your radiation so that you're actually 30, 30 minutes of it as opposed to having to come back and forth for 30 days. I mean, this is huge for women. Saving time and actually yes. less expensive, less swelling. You get sick with, with going through the radiation, so, yeah. so it eliminates that. So that's, that's a huge thing. The third breakthrough that we have now is called the margin probe. So let's say that you've removed this lump, you've performed a lumpectomy in surgery, typically you would pass it off to the pathologist, you would have to wait, you'd have to do frozen sections. You, what you can do is by placing the margin probe directly on your surgical specimen as, as you remove it, you're going to try it in all the different spots. It uses uh, radio frequency spectroscopy is the, is the technology that's being used to differentiate cancer cells from normal tissue. It saves time, you're, you're, it's, you're removing less tissue, pre preserving more of the healthy tissue in the breast, which makes it easier to reconstruct. And you're decreasing the pre -op, your, your re-operation rate by like 56%. So this well, is Well, is well that's, that's, that's the key here, because we know that with lumpectomy, without this device, that the re-operation rate, having to go back and take a little more, is anywhere between 30 and 60%. That's a big number. So and everyone, we, everyone thinks it's obvious in the operating room, right, where the cancer ends and begins, and it's not. It's no, not. because you have microscopic uh, tentacles of that tumor, but this is a great innovation.